In this video, we will show you how easy it is to set up your TP-Link Archer C3200 tri-band gigabit router. During this demonstration, we will be using a Mac operating system. Now, let's go through the setup process step by step. To begin with, you need to unfold the antennas to maximize the wireless performance. If your internet connection is through an ethernet cable that connects directly to the wall instead of through a modem, you can simply connect the cable from the wall to the internet port on your router. Then follow steps five and six to complete the hardware connection. If your internet connection is through a modem, then power off your modem. If the modem has a battery backup, please remove this too. Connect the internet port on your router to the modem's LAN port with an ethernet cable. Power on the modem by attaching the power adapter and battery backup, if available. Power on the router. The LEDs on the router will begin to flash. Once the router has finished its configuration, the LEDs will turn solid. There are two different ways to get your devices connected. For a wired device, such as a computer, use an Ethernet cable to connect your device to one of the yellow gigabit Ethernet ports on the router. Make sure the computer is not connected to any other wireless network on this step. For wireless devices, like smartphones or tablets, connect your phone by using the SSID, or network name, and wireless password that is printed on the product label at the bottom of the router. Open a web browser and type this address. Use admin for both username and password, then click login. After successfully logging in, you can create a new username and password, then click confirm. Re-log in using the new credentials. Next, you may select your region and time zone, then click Next. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions to the quick setup to complete the initial configuration. You have successfully finished your router setup. You are now online.